Hey guys, today I'm here to help you use the Migaku browser extension to learn your target language while browsing the internet. Today we're going to be talking in particular about text-based content like websites and documents. If you're interested in playing games or visual novels, then you may want to check out the video we did about using text hookers with the Migaku browser extension. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Now I'm going to show you how to make best use of the browser extension while browsing the internet. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this target language website. First off, the Migaku browser extension offers support for searching text and adding Anki cards in any language through the Migaku dictionary add-on. You can do this really easily. Simply select any text and press the E key to search that text, or press the Q key to add that text as an Anki card. If you hold the shift key when you have some text selected, you will see a pop-up that includes a search and an Anki button. You can also press either of these buttons instead of using their respective shortcuts to search a word or add a flashcard. Migaku also has enhanced support for eight different languages that builds on these previous features. The languages that we currently support are Japanese, both simplified and traditional Mandarin Chinese, Cantonese, English, French, German, Spanish, and Portuguese. We have plans to add more languages really soon and are already currently working on adding Korean, Arabic, and Italian support. Let us know in the comment section what other languages you would like to see added. These supported languages allow you to parse the text on a website. Parsing is the act of checking all of the words on a given page to see if you know them or not. And several other extra features are also available for various languages, which we will be showing you briefly. Today we're going to be using Japanese as an example, but soon we will be making videos showing you how to learn European languages and Chinese with Migaku as well. So be sure to check out those videos if they pertain to your target language. So to get started, first we will select Japanese in the language dropdown that you can see here. Once Japanese is selected, it will take a moment to load, and then you will see its toolbar options appear in the Migaku toolbar. These buttons that appear after export all are all different parsing options that we can select. For example, we can select for the extension to underline the words that we don't know or are still learning. We turn that on by clicking the word status button. We can then also show the pitch accent pattern of Japanese words by clicking the highlight button, which will highlight or color those words according to their pitch pattern. We can then select a display mode for our text. Here I will select furigana mode, which adds furigana to all Japanese words. The other two buttons, the pitch shapes button and the remove brackets button have other specific functionality, which you can find out more about by checking out our website. Once we've selected the options we would like, then we can simply press the parse button. You will notice that words are underlined in red and yellow, but that some words are not underlined at all. These words that aren't underlined at all are your known words. Our goal when learning with Migaku is to eventually remove the underline from as many target language words as possible. You can actually import the words you know from your Anki decks, which is covered in one of our previous videos. So be sure to check that video out if you'd like to know how to set up the extension and how to import your known words from Anki. You can also change the status of a word at any time, either by hovering it and pressing the button of the learning status you would like it to have, or by hovering over a word and pressing the hotkey K to make that word known, L to make that word learning, which signifies that it's a word you're currently studying and have already seen before but aren't very familiar with yet. And lastly, you can press U to mark that word unknown. You will also notice that the reading or furigana of each word is displayed on top of it because we selected furigana display mode. Also for Japanese, if you've installed the audio support for it, you can also click almost any word to hear it pronounced. Kasa. This sort of audio support is not available for other languages languages just yet, but will be coming soon. You can also see that each word is colored by its pitch accent color. You can find out more about how this coloring works by referencing the extensions guide on our site.
Before we show you the enhanced features that are available, let me just briefly show you a preview of parsing for a few other languages. Here you can see that you can parse a language in simplified Mandarin Chinese and convert the entirety of its contents to traditional Chinese or vice versa. You can also of course color words based on their tone as well. In French, German, Spanish, and Portuguese, words can be colored according to their gender. In English, you can hover a word to see its IPA or International Phonetic Alphabet Spelling. This also tells you the correct stress accent of that word. If you want to find out more about the enhanced features that are available for any particular language, make sure to check out the guide on our website. Returning to our example with Japanese, after you've parsed the text on a page, several different options become available to you. You can now hold the shift key and hover over sentences and they will be highlighted as you can see here. You will also see the familiar search and Anki buttons that we saw before when pressing the shift key. And just as you probably can predict, we can press the E key or the search button to search and press the Q key or the Anki button to add a card. But the difference is that now when searching, instead of searching the entire selected text, the extension will intelligently search only the unknown words in that sentence. The maximum number of words that are actually searched can be adjusted through the Migaku dictionary. Also, when adding a card, the unknown words will also automatically be searched. And the first unknown word in each sentence will be added to the word field in Migaku Dictionary's card exporter. You can find out more about Migaku Dictionary and its card exporter by watching our video about it or checking out its guide on our website. One feature of Migaku Dictionary that is not fully highlighted in its new video that I briefly want to introduce to you is the ability to automatically add definitions to cards. You can do this by simply clicking the automatic definition settings button and selecting the dictionaries that you would like to add definitions from and the maximum number of definitions to add from each dictionary. Then simply press the save settings button and check off the automatically add definitions checkbox. You can then also check off the add extension cards automatically checkbox as well. After doing this, you will notice that any cards added through Migaku Dictionary will have definitions automatically added to them as well. This also works for the Google Images and Forvo Dictionaries and can automatically add images and audio recordings of words to your cards. Sendio. Lastly, you can also automatically add all one target sentences in a text, which are sentences that have a single unknown word in them to Anki automatically using the export one T button. Or you can even choose to add all of the sentences on a website as flashcards using the export all button. You will notice that a progress bar will be displayed in Anki that will show you how far along the process is and will inform you of the number of cards that were added when the process finishes. Please note that these two features are still brand new to this part of the Migaku browser extension. And as a result, some of the cards added with them may not be appropriate learning material. So be liberal in deleting cards that are created through these automated means that are not of high quality. A final note is that your automatic definition settings will also apply when exporting one target sentences or exporting all the sentences on a page as well, which means that definitions can also be automatically added to cards that are created by these means. If you have any issues bulk creating cards when automatically adding definitions from the Google Images or Forvo dictionaries, then please disable those in your automatic definition settings when bulk creating cards and add them later using the bulk export definitions feature in the Migaku dictionary, which you can find out more about on our website. Another new feature that is included in our latest release of the Immerse with Migaku browser extension is the Migaku Clipboard. My teammate Julius has actually made a video about using the Migaku Clipboard while playing visual novels. You can find out more about the Migaku Clipboard and reading visual novels in that video if you're interested. But today, I just briefly want to tell you about how it can be used to read longer texts. 
We are currently working on what I feel will be a great solution for reading books with the extension, but in the meantime, when you attempt to parse the text for a very long web page or document that you open within your internet browser, you may notice that the page will become sluggish and perhaps even unresponsive. This is due to the extension adding its syntax to many, many thousands of words on the page. This can make using the extension on these pages really difficult, particularly if you're on a lower spec computer. So what we recommend you you do is to open the Migaku clipboard and copy the particular section of the page that you will be reading. Once this text is copied, it will be shown in the Migaku clipboard and can be parsed and read as normal without slowing down the page. You can also clear the clipboard at any time if you find the page becoming sluggish. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you found this brief dive into browsing the internet and reading with the Migaku browser extension to be helpful. We're currently hard at work on many improvements to the browser extension and an eventual public release. But for now, we rely on viewer support through the Migaku Patreon page to be able to have the time to work on the extension and on Migaku as a whole. Thanks so much to everyone who supports Migaku. You really mean a great deal to myself and the team. And we hope that today's video was a helpful guide into what the Immerse with Migaku browser extension can do to help you to learn to proficiently read your target language. Until the next time, see ya.